Hi, I'm Randy Jackson in the Channel 9 Newsroom, and coming up tonight on Channel 9 News at 10, we'll have the latest on propositions that'll be facing voters tomorrow at the polls. Here locally, the big ones are really heating up. Police and fire pay raises and hospital districts. We'll tell you all about them. And an afternoon shooting sends one man to the hospital in Midland. Plus, will Big Spring get another prison? We'll tell you how the city is faring in lieu of tomorrow's elections. Those stories and much more tonight on Channel 9 News at 10. We'll see you then. The Pace. Sharing your pride on Channel 9. Good evening, I'm Janet Story in the Channel 9 Newsroom. Here's a look at some of the stories coming up tonight at 10. Tomorrow's election will play a key role in the financial future of two area hospitals. And Midland Police continue their investigation of an afternoon shooting, the result of domestic violence. And on tonight's Moneyline report, the ins and outs of laptop computers. We'll have details on those stories, plus Jack Church has your weather forecast and Jay Hendricks has the night sports news. So won't you join us tonight at 10 for Channel 9 News. When news happens in the Permian Basin and you see it happen, call Newsline 9 and let us hear about it. Call Newsline 9 at 561-9991. These people like you and me. Would you happen to win a contest where you didn't wear any clothes? You jump out of planes nude. Are going to match wits with your favorite stars. Men and women have to do it together. On Third Degree. Match wits with top stars weekdays at 11 on Channel 9. A Current Affair, weeknights at 6.30 on Channel 9. <laughs> A big pro-choice rally in Washington. We'll have the details on Channel 9 News at 10. His name is becoming more recognizable. I'll explain tonight at 10. Enjoy the challenge of a bike tour. Join the third and best yet Cactus and Crude MS-150 Bike Tour. Sponsored by Channel 9 News and Bud Light. The two-day, one-way, fully catered tour begins Saturday, July 13th. Pedal your way from Odessa through Midland and on to La Mesa, where you'll be treated to a weekend of fun, fitness, and new friendships. For information, call 699-7787. So round up a friend or gather up a team and help Channel 9 and Bud Light fight MS. Good evening, I'm Richard Relier. And I'm David Hefferly. Here's a look at some of the stories the Channel 9 News team is working on for tonight's 10 o'clock report. We'll tell you about a West Texas lawman who's calling it quits after 30 years as a chief deputy. Plus, in the first Channel 9 News West Texas report, we'll take you down to Alpine to meet a man who's become somewhat of a legend in law enforcement. He's a Texas Ranger. Join us for these stories along with weather and sports all coming up on Channel 9 News at 10. Hi, I'm Richard Relier. And I'm David Hefferly with Channel 9 News. You know, on any given weekday, you can find the two of us in the newsroom making calls, going over our stories, or checking a tape, gathering information for our newscasts. But you can't rely on just the picture to tell the story because no two people see things the same. That's right. That's why we're here, to make sure you get both, both sides, sides of the story. Richard Relier and David Hefferly, weekdays at 6 and 10 on KTPX-TV, Channel 9. Good evening, I'm David Hefferly. And I'm Richard Relier. Coming up tonight on Channel 9 News at 10, a West Texas lawman is calling it quits after 30 years as a chief deputy. Two Odessa attorneys are charged with possession of cocaine. We'll have the latest on that. Plus, our first Channel 9 News West Texas report. And tonight it's about a man in Alpine who's been somewhat of a legend in Texas law enforcement. Jay Hendricks will highlight all today's sporting news, and Daryl Ward will have the latest on our forecast. Please join us all tonight at 10 for Channel 9 News. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Coming up next on Channel 9 News tonight, a controversial police chief is asked to step down. Midland lawmen make a crack raid. Big Spring settles the issue over drinking at a city park. And a real Texas lawman talks about the pride of the Texas Rangers. You'll meet him in tonight's West Texas Report. Stay with us. Channel 9 News at 10 is just three minutes away. If you want swift justice, sometimes you got to take the law into your own hands. Take the law into your hands. Turn on the People's Court. Weekdays at 4.30 at KTPX-TV, Channel 9. KTPX-TV, Channel 9, the Permian Basin's news channel. KTPX-TV, Channel 9, 
the Permian Basin's news channel. This colorful Texas Ranger Joaquin Jackson on Channel 9 News, West Texas Report, tonight at 10. Colorful Texas Ranger Joaquin Jackson on Channel 9 News, West Texas Report, tonight at 10. Well, games in Tennessee. I don't know if he ever used them or not. Hmm. But he's a 7-Eleven. We, we've had start watching. We've had three confirmed three reports sightings. of Elvis Titan. Let's take a look and see where he was today across the Permian Basin. A couple of sightings in Odessa and one on the north side of Midland. We'll keep you up to date every day on where Elvis is. He's probably going to get closer to the airport. He's a busy man. Way. He got around today. I'll tell you what. He did. They saw him right there at the gas pumps. Probably in, in the store getting something to eat there. Gas and donuts. <laughs> wow. Well, that's a good combination he's or not. <laughs> he's, he's fond of those donuts. I guess that's what so. we hear. Okay. Don, Keep an get, eye on. get us updated on what's happening in our weather uh, besides the Elvis sightings. What else do you have for us? No, we've got a little warm weather. He's probably going to try to grab a... It's time again this year to make a place on your Christmas list and in your heart for a child who needs you. Donate a new, unwrapped toy to Toys for Tots. You can drop your toy at any Midland Odessa fire station. Or here at News West 9. The toys will then be displayed here on the News West 9 set throughout the holidays. The Storm Tracker Chase Van. Only on News West 9. I'm really going to stand... Melissa Hendricks. News West 9 at 5, 6, and 10 p.m. Eclipse. The Storm Tracker Chase Van. Only on News West 9. Julie Schultz, News West 9 Sunrise at 5.30 a.m. Gather up all your family and friends and head for the Ector County Coliseum. It's Fiesta West Texas. KODM brings you a live sea lion show. Performers like you'd expect to see at SeaWorld. See your kids' faces light up as these sea lions are live at Fiesta West Texas. Fiesta West Texas. There's something for everyone, and KODM is proud to be part of the action. May 4th, 5th, and 6th at the Ector County Coliseum in Odessa. Pick up tickets for the whole family now. Fiesta West Texas, May 4th, 5th, and 6th at the Ector County Coliseum in Odessa. We have the four gentlemen that are running for Midland Mayor here with us, and we're going to... Are you going to do that with the city if you're elected mayor? It's an important question, I think, is not how much we spend, but why we're in this race. When that singular vote came up, one of the reasons I stuck to my gun was... Going right back into socialism. Okay. Which is not constitutional. It's not the thing that the mayor is supposed to do. The Midland the mayor Mayoral Debate, the News West 9 exclusive. Find out who the ultimate winner is Saturday right here on News West 9. Yeah. News West 9 is proud to present the 2001 West Texas Star Graduates. Two top students at JAL New Mexico High School are Amanda Hobson and Homer Valeriano. Amanda is this year's valedictorian, member of the National Honor Society, was varsity cheerleader and recipient of the Silver Scholarship from New Mexico Tech. Homer held a 3.91 grade point average, was on the continuous honor roll, played football and basketball, and graduates with highest honors. Congratulations to Amanda, Homer, and all of the 2001 West Texas Star graduates from News West 9. How to be a more beautiful you. These days it's a whole lot easier with lasers that can get rid of freckles, acne, brown spots, even reduce wrinkles. This is News West 9's Laura Moore. See for yourself Monday night when I undergo just such a procedure live during the 6 o'clock broadcast. Plus, you'll learn about some over-the-counter products that can take years off your skin. Watch a special edition of Health Watch 9, Monday night at 6, only on News West 9. We're all our first day together. News West 9 is proud to present the 2001 West Texas Star Graduates. Two of Kermit High School's top students are Kyle and Corbett Graves. Kyle is this year's valedictorian, member of the National Honor Society, student council, and played varsity football. Corbett is salutatorian this year, member of National Honor Society, student council, and was varsity football captain. Congratulations to Kyle, Corbett, and all of the 2001 West Texas Star graduates from News West 9. Sunday's Mother's Day, and that means it's her turn to be pampered. Win a fabulous night on the town from News West 9 Sunrise. It's easy. All you have to do is fax us or email us your favorite mom moment. She could win a dinner for two and a night at the Radisson, plus a manicure from California Nails. Then join us on Friday as we choose our winning mom. That's only on News West 9 Sunrise.
Take a private tour through Carlsbad Caverns Lower Cave. Wednesday night at 10, only on News West 9. An Hector County District Attorney is calling for an audit of drugs being held as evidence. We'll tell you why coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Tonight at 10 on News West 9. The movie Pearl Harbor premieres Friday night. News West 9 plans to broadcast live from the theater. Tonight, hear from a Midland man who experienced the attack firsthand and lived to tell about it. Plus, 14 years ago today, the small town of Saragossa was completely wiped out by a tornado. Tonight at 10 o'clock, one family shares their touching story of terror, survival, and bravery. Only on News West 9. More news, more often. They claim this. It knows only one thing to do, attack stains. And this. Watch how it cleans, it brightens, it eliminates odors, look at this. You see their commercials every day, and they're making millions. But can they do all they claim? It's almost like brand new again. It's like a white knight in shining armor. Thursday, Crystal Cruise puts OxyClean to the test. Live, exclusively at 10 on News West 9. More news, more often. News West 9 is proud to present the 2001 West Texas Star Graduates. Two of Alpine High School's top graduates are Elisa Havens and Casey Parker Hayes. Elisa has been an A honor roll student throughout high school, the highest ranking senior with a 99.7 grade point average, band member, cheerleader, and excelled in volleyball. Casey's been National Honor Society president, drum major of the marching band, and member of the golf team. Congratulations to Elisa, Casey, and all of the 2001 West Texas Star Graduates of News West 9. A little bit of a warm-up in the forecast before the next cold front. And what about Memorial Day? We'll talk about all that in the Storm Tracker 9 five-day forecast coming up tonight at 10. News West 9. More weather, more often. The Storm Tracker 9 Future Track. A brand new way to predict weather. And only News West 9 has it. See weather patterns days in advance. So you can plan ahead. News West 9. More weather, more often. News West 9. More weather, more often. When severe weather threatens your neighborhood, turn to News West 9 for the fastest warning about approaching storms. At any time of the day, you can count on the Storm Tracker 9 alert system to show you where the storm warnings are the instant a warning is issued. Faster information and backed by the Storm Tracker team of meteorologists. News West 9. More weather, more often. I have 12 doctors. My um, intestines got real, really tangled and twisted up in a knot. I couldn't eat n never ever, and I couldn't drink never ever, and I couldn't go to the bathroom never ever. Now I'm real healthy, and um, I would wish for, I wish that I live forever. News West 9. More news, more often, more live. Especially during breaking news when you need to know. Oil well released H2S into the air. More live mobile units able to cover more of West Texas. Because only News West 9 can broadcast live from all across West Texas. Also has 150. 14 years ago today, the small town of Saragossa was wiped out by a tornado. Tonight, we'll talk with a family who survived that tornado coming up tonight at 10. Meet News West 9's assignment editor, Richard Acosta. Regular guy, but not for long. Richard needs a makeover, and you're going to choose his new hairdo. Do number one, two, three, four, or five. Vote online at mywestexas.com, then be watching News West 9 May 30th, when Richard will get his hair cut live on the air. Richard's Hair Affair. Vote for your favorite style today, only on News West 9 Sunrise. Download the all-new News West 9 app. Search News West 9 in your app store. If you have an interesting story, News West 9's Julia Dang wants to hear it. Getting your day started right. News West 9 Sunrise with Victor Lopez.